Hello everyone, my name is Henry and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be all about Adobe Fireworks ES6. We're going to be taking a little bit of a look at the program and I'm also during that going to talk a little bit about how relevant it is today. Is there any point in still using it or has it completely faded and been replaced by other programs? So first of all, let's explain the history of Fireworks. Where does it come from? So Adobe Fireworks started out as a Adobe Fireworks started out as Macromedia Fireworks and was based, and the technology that was lay, laying underneath Fireworks was called XRES, or it was actually from a program called XRES, which, funnily enough, was the first ever image editing program to feature layers. Now, unfortunately, Adobe didn't take long to add that feature to Photoshop, so XRES pretty quickly died, and was, of course, before it died, it was acquired by Macromedia, who quickly gave up on it, but ended up embedding the technology into Adobe Fireworks, which is sometimes mistakenly believed to be, back then used to be believed to be a Photoshop ripoff. But in reality, it's something completely different. It was designed from the ground up to be a UI interface designer, like UI UX designer for the web. Not necessarily the modern ones you have today, like Sketch or even Adobe's own experience design, which a lot of people would probably call the predecessor. No, I mean fireworks to be the predecessor off. Um, but rather that fireworks was meant for designing and prototyping websites. And of course, also making the graphics used on those websites. Now, uh, so, so that's essentially what fireworks is for. Um, uh, for the screws about why it's now Adobe fireworks and not Micromedia fireworks. Micromedia was the company, a fairly pretty similar to Adobe. It was their main rival back in the day, who made Flash, Dreamweaver, Fireworks, Director, and Freehand, and a couple of other programs that kind of just faded off over time before 2005, which was when Adobe finally managed to acquire their own rival. Some say this is the most terrible thing to have happened because Adobe had no rival anymore, so they became a lot more sloppy, while others say it's a good thing, because Adobe's done way better things with the software than Macromedia ever would. There's no way for us to truly know. I honestly have no particular feelings about it, but I personally think that Animate, which is now called, and Dreamweaver all work fine, and no, I will not update. Try tomorrow. Jesus. Um... So, honestly, I don't really feel that indifferent about the Macromedia acquisition, or Adobe Macromedia acquisition. But, of course, I wasn't really there at the time. I came in around CS5 when it came to Creative Suite and Cloud, I guess. So, I guess my opinion isn't really relevant. With that said, um, Fireworks was updated all the way until CS6, which is the version I'm on now. If you have Creative Cloud, you can download Fireworks for free, like any other CS6 program. Um, so if you want Fireworks, you can download it along with your subscription. So if you this video actually entices you to actually download it, then you can do that if you have Creative Cloud, or you can buy Creative Cloud and you get it. Or you can buy it standalone, which is probably a lot more expensive. Uh, now, Fireworks, again, it was dropped, haven't been updated since. Uh, I think it got a couple of like security updates and like bug fixes that were like major, uh, but it haven't had any of those in a while either, and they probably won't be getting any unless you find something really major. Even then, it'll probably take a year for Adobe to fix it because they really don't have any development teams focused on Fireworks anymore. And I think most of the developers that did work on Fireworks are now working on the experience design or XD, stupidest name ever. Fireworks is way cooler in terms of naming. So. Let's just go ahead and create a new Fireworks document. Now, during this video, I will be sort of referencing both experience design and sketch and sort of talking a little bit about how Fireworks really has laid down a lot of groundwork and also sort of how I think Fireworks still does some things better and also talk a little bit about why it might still be relevant. So first of all, you'll notice we've got a, the interface is really similar to Photoshop, but again, it's quite different from Photoshop at the same time. And that was especially relevant when this first came out, but it should be noted that a lot of things that was unique to Fireworks is no longer unique to Fireworks, it is in Photoshop. But even then, I think Fireworks really had the UI and the simplicity of those elements that Photoshop also now has is a lot easier accessible in Fireworks. Because Photoshop tries to be so much, it tries to be a 3D tool, a photo editing tool, a graphics editor, even a like a raster editing program. 
bitmap, I mean, and of course also Rector. It's doing so much at, 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 at that same time that it's hard to keep focus. Uh, fireworks only aims to do what it was made for. <laughs> um, so we can choose here, we want to have a transparent canvas color, white, or a custom color. And we can also choose the width and height and the resolution. Now 72 is of course the default because this is primarily meant for web design. And those who know their stuff knows that 72 uh, pixels per inch is the standard for websites. And then height is default 500 by 500, which I'm going to keep at. But if you're doing a website, there are like measurements online. You can also set it up to something like Android specifications and different iPhone specifications. Whatever you're designing, you can set it up here. And that'll create us a new document. <clears throat> a couple of things I want to note as well. Since fireworks haven't been updated, number one, you're stuck with the white UI. This shouldn't be a game breaker. A lot of people like the old white UI before they got the default black UI. But me, I kind of do prefer the black design in Adobe products, but again, the white one is nice, it works, and honestly, fireworks should not be hindered by its design in terms of colors. Um, but what is a little bit hindering is the fact that it's not high DPI capable. Um, it's not noticeable in this video because I'm recording it in 1080p, so you're seeing it without any issues, but if you'd be running this on, I'm running this on a MacBook Pro, which normally runs in high DPI mode or retina, which means everything is pixelated. Now there are ways you can fake it into doing at least like upscaling some things like text and these tabs and the UI itself can be upscaled, but the icons will still be really pixelated and certain of these like the, um, what do they call, um, the stoplight things, I can't remember. Um, the icons on the top also will be blurred on some windows. So that's a thing to bear in mind. If you really, really, really hate non-retina applications, especially if you're gonna be using them as your daily driver, then Fireworks may not be the program for you, especially because that will never be fixed. With that said, let's go and jump in here. So you notice here we've already got what I talked about with labels, we've got bitmap, we've got vector, We've got some specific web tools, we've got colors, and we've got view, kind of similar to InDesign with its presentation, which I seemingly got stuck in. There we go, full screen mode, it's not called presentation. Um, we've also got full screen with menus mode and standard screen mode, so full screen or not full screen. And again, like any Adobe product, we have uh, workspaces, but there's only three of them. We've got expanded mode, iconic mode, and iconic mode with panel names. I prefer expanded mode, and of course, you can of course also make your own, which I do for most Adobe programs because I always have my specific ways of working with different things. Now, one of the biggest things that's different with Fireworks, unlike others, which really does show that it's really designed for web design, is you'll notice that it doesn't have artboards. And that's because artboards is a fairly new thing. It kind kind of it's fairly new. Well, you'll notice that Sketch has it, Experience Design has it, Photoshop has it, and Illustrator has it now. But what was unique about this is, along with having layers and states, which were that you could have an object with several states, say you have a, a button, and when you hover over it, you want it to change what it looks like, that'll be a state. And then you have a page, which is if you actually click a button, you'll be taken to another page. That is the awesome thing about this. You don't need to have a separate document for every page. If you're making one website design, you can have every single page on that website have its own separate design that you simply just use by pressing on this. And then you've also got like, um, similar to InDesign, once again, you have like templates and similar that you can apply to these pages and all that stuff. So, so pages is one of the defining features, in my opinion, of Fireworks over the others. Another thing that's also unique to this as a UI and UX design tool is the fact that it's got full bitmap and vector support built in. And since it's an Adobe tool, it has full support for things you copy and paste from both Photoshop and Illustrator, both vector and bitmap. So, you know, and, and that's awesome because then you can like work. So, so you know, you, you can see here we can we have like magic brush, uh, magic brush from magic wand. I mean, we have actual brushes. We have an eraser. I don't know why that flashed the screen. You've even got the popular, or not popular, but the cool smudge tool, stamp tool. And then we've got vector tools. We have things like the square 
text. So text will always be vector. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't support bitmap fonts, by the way. Uh, essentially, we've got all the vector tools and we've got all the bitmap tools we need. And then we've got the basic selection tools. We also got adding uh, rectangle hotspot tools. Yeah, slice tools. All sorts of like, if you've used Adobe software, you'll recognize most of the tools in here, which is awesome. Um, so, so, so honestly, it's got a lot going for it, really. Um, if you want really detailed information and tutorials on fireworks, I'd recommend you to check out Mike Locke. Uh, he has a great YouTube channel. He has been, or not, he hasn't been. He is probably one of the biggest users of fireworks that is still actively supporting, like actually actively talking about it and like really have been using this since what? Since it came out or whatever. He's been using it for so long, it's hard to even... Like, like, give big credit to the guy for still using this and still keeping up and talking about a lot of his channel. He did recently make a video on how he's been trying out Sketch now, which is understandable, because again, Adobe has stopped and phased out development on this. But then again, it's still a really powerful program, and most things can still be done within this program. So, and, and an advantage that this program has over most other UI and UX design programs, that I've mentioned a lot actually, but another one, it's still multi-platform. Sketch has already been claimed that we'll never ever get a Windows version. And while XD is getting experience design, that is, is now getting a Windows version. We don't know when, but it will be coming. We have most people, including Mike Locke, have already said that they find that the uh, that the Windows like that experience design is just too non-featured there's a reason anyone can download it for free right now it's because there's so few features in it to even call it a finished product now of course adobe will be adding new still adding new features and making it better by the weeks and days and all that stuff but it's not ready for serious work yet you can do experiences like ux design in it and make some good stuff but comparing it to either sketch or fireworks and you'll notice that it's really weak so they have said they will be adding a lot more than we expect, and they're still taking in future requests, so send it in if you have anything. But as of right now, Fireworks is probably the best multi-platform UI slash UX design tool you can use. Who knows, maybe in two or even one year's time, maybe we'll have a both Windows and Mac version of Experience Design that have all the features we need. Then maybe I'll make a new video talk about Experience Design. Who knows? Now... I don't know what else I can really say to make you love this program. It's also got built-in prototyping for websites. You can kind of like browsing a website. Uh, I feel like my mouse is disappearing all the time. Uh, another thing to note is Fireworks has a lot of extensions that is actually kind of keeping it up to date. A lot of people, a lot of developers do still make extensions for Fireworks that you can install and use to make your experience better with more support for better prototyping, more support for making Android and iPhone app designs and all sorts of stuff within Fireworks to make it sort of more relevant to today's market for UI UX design. There's a lot of choices you have and I, I honestly think Fireworks is still a solid program. It's unfortunate Adobe has abandoned it and especially when they claiming that the replacement is experience design, which is very, very lacking compared to something like, oh, I don't know, Fireworks, which we're looking at right now, even compared to Sketch, which it's very clearly basing a lot of its stuff off of. But, you know, that time will show. In my opinion, this program is still relevant to some form or another. But again, with the fact of the non-retina support, kind of old UI that haven't been updated, and the fact that it's no longer being updated by Adobe is something you should consider if you're planning to download this. But be aware there are lots of places to get help. The Adobe forums for fireworks are still up. I've still even seen some people post there. More than a lot of other more useful forums, in my opinion. And again, Mike Locke is probably happy to answer any of your questions. And he's got a whole series of tutorials and he's also got an entire course on Adobe fireworks on his website. Uh, I can't remember it in my head, but I'll leave a link to his website and his YouTube channel in the description because honestly, he's a big resource when even mentioning, uh, when even mentioning Adobe Fireworks in a video. So honestly, that's all I really wanted to say about Fireworks. Uh, please tell me what you thought of this whole, is it still relevant 
type video in the comments. I've been thinking of doing a couple of others for programs like Sound Booth, which was dropped in CS5, or maybe even Freehand, which still has a really huge following um, and a lot of people talking about it. So that might be interesting to do a video on. Um, you know, just in general, just talking about